welcome to another Captain and Tim and video. It's Art here with a book review of Death in the Clouds by Agatha Christie. This is Hercule Poirot novel number 12. Um, I love this series because it, it reminds me a lot of Sherlock Holmes. Agatha Christie herself said that she wrote Hastings and Poirot to be like Holmes and Watson. Uh, this one is a very, very unique one. I also like how Agatha Christie makes every uh, book feel different. Um, Mysterious Ferret Styles, Murder on the Links, Murder on the Orient Express, they all feel different, and this one is no different. This one is, we've got a mysterious death that takes place, and someone we've grown to know is on the suspect list. Um, for who committed this murder. Um, <laughs> the camaraderie between the characters in the book, um, Inspector Jap and Perot, is very, very good. I will say one thing great about the audiobook is it, it's read uh, by Hugh Fraser who played um, Captain Hastings in the ITV uh, PBS series and he does a bang up job he almost sounds a little bit like David Suchet when he does Perot and when he does Jap he gets that gruff gravelier voice that you expect with Jap so that is really really good now on to the story the story is written well but I will say it's the first one where I felt it was a little bit dated. In that I kind of saw them treat one of the characters a lot better than I think that they should have uh, treated him. Sorry, my phone goes off with alerts all the time. And it's over out of my reach. So you have to forgive me on that one. Um... I need to shut off those alerts, but I'll do that later. But they, getting back to what I was saying, they treated uh, one of the characters with a little bit too much respect and didn't suspect him enough as much as they would in a police procedural or a crime novel today. As a matter of fact, he suspects himself more than they suspect him. Uh... It was a bit slow for me. I kind of zoned in and out. It was still good. I was reading it on my Kindle. I have it in Kindle form, physical form, and I got an audiobook form. I returned the audiobook form after it was done because of audio skipping. It skipped several times to where I had to back it up and uh, try to make it not skip, or at the parts where it would skip, I would have to read it so I wouldn't miss any words. Um, but the beauty about Audible as an aside, is that you can return it at any point in time. So the story was a little bit lackluster for me. It was a little bit uh, paint by numbers in a lot of ways. But I can see how when this was originally written, it would have been top of the line, top notch. But me coming at it from the angle of I've read a lot of mysteries and I've read a lot of mysteries like this, I enjoyed it, but it was a bit run of the mill. But she's Agatha Christie is still the queen of mystery. She's still the most important um, mystery writer, in my opinion, uh, as far as novels go. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle may have uh, started the genre, but it was Agatha Christie who perfected the genre. And as a Sherlockian. I don't come by that by just saying it and reading a few. I come by that because continuity and coherency is important to Agatha Christie. Even though the stories are separate, and Death, Death in the Clouds is separate from Murder on the Orient Express, it's separate uh, from the murder of Ryder Aykroyd, it's separate from all the other novels, it's still self-contained, and it still somewhat builds 
on the ones that come before it and lay the foundation for the ones that come after it. So, in that respect, she's better than Conan Doyle because Conan Doyle has a lot of continuity problems. And his continuity problems is where he gets in trouble. So, if I had to score this book, which, for good reads, we have to, or what we can choose to, I do score every book because I feel that's part of a, of a, of a re review. I would say on my own scale, it's read it, read it, try to borrow it, try to get your hands on it, read it, get it done. Most definitely get it done. As a good read score, I would say that the the fact that I was zoning in and out and it couldn't keep my attention constantly, the fact that I felt it was paint by numbers uh, in parts, and the fact that I felt that it was run of the mill, yes, it was the foundation for its type of genre, I'm sure, but its foundation to me is showing a little bit of the cracks. If I was, if Goodreads had half stars, I'd give it 3.5 stars out of 5. And that's what I truly give it, 3.5 stars out of 5. But, because they don't give half stars, I'd have to bump this one down to 3 stars on Goodreads. Just because I feel Murder on the or Orient Express was her best novel so far that I've read. Uh, and all the other ones were great. This one was good. Better than average but just good, not great. So that's why I'd have to say it's three stars on Goodreads, three and a half in actuality, and a read it on my scale. And this completes the historical, and I did complete the historical um, prompt in the March Mystery Madness. I know the review's coming out after March, but hey, uh, I was reading a lot in March. You'll have to give me a break on that one. But th this completes the historical prompt. Um, you'll have to continue watching my reviews to see if I complete all six prompts. Uh, watching my videos. Hello to the new subscribers. Um, leave a comment down below if you've read any of the... If you've read any of the Agatha Christie novels, what you think of them. Uh, let's start a, a polite discussion on who your favorite fi fictional detective is down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, and 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, and to my original subscribers, thanks for sticking with me. Until next time, happy reading. I'll see you again soon, and peace. Peace.